Hey everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I just finished a 100 days project. So for the next 100 days, there'll be a video out every day. Some of them are rather short, some of them are kind of long. They're all less than 10 minutes though, showing you how I did these flowers. And it's just one label each day. They are rectangular labels, self-adhesive, one inch by two and three quarter inch. This is just something I found at a, um, a secondhand store. So thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to check out my links below if you're trying to find me elsewhere. Hi everyone, and welcome to day 78 of my 100 days of flower challenge. And let's see. Let's go with a straight line stem. And then up off of that, we're going to draw a spiky oval. And I just mean, instead of it having the soft edges, you know, like this is kind of an oval here. Instead of being soft like that, have more pointed edges. And then just off of the one, and then off of that one, I'm going to draw another petal shape off this direction, but it's going to be coming down. This is the center of the flower up here. Okay. And we'll draw another petal there, and then I'm going to mirror that on this side as best I can because it is going off the page. So there we go. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just darken this area a little bit with just a few little scribbles, kind of even that out a bit and kind of give the impression of the center of the flower. And then from the top of that, I'm going to draw these little doodads with the little ball on the end, just a bunch of straight lines, curved lines, whichever way you want to go about it. Just make sure you stagger the lengths. You don't want them all coming from the same spot. Or you can, either way. So... Let's go ahead and draw another one coming up off this direction. And let's just start with our, our petal shape, not even worrying about the stem this time. And then our saggy, or not saggy, but our downward petals. There we go. Then our scribbled center. And let's try just making all of our lines from the same point on this one. And see what that does for us. Looks wise. Okay, I had that one outlier, but I think that looks good. So, thank you so much for joining me today, and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all my links below.